Guys, today we are going to discuss about static memplication and dynamic memplication both in C and C++. And we will always be discussing about the various advantages of dynamic memplication over static memplication. But I should say, both the static memplication as well as dynamic memplication, both they have their pros and cons. But first, we will see what happens in case of static memplication and what happens in case of dynamic memplication. See. Static memory location is something that takes place at the time of compilation. At the time of compilation of your program. So this is something that takes place early. Second is dynamic memory allocation and Dynamic memory location, the timing of dynamic memory location is execution time. So, dynamic memory location takes place at the time of execution of the program. At the time of execution of the program. Right? So, for example, say, if you are going to declare an array in C or C++ like this, through conventional method, it will be termed as static memory location because as you know one int is going to take up two bytes of the memory so total bytes consumed will be 20 bytes these 20 bytes for this array x they are going to be allocated at the time of compilation of the program now the same thing can be done through directly memory location but for this purpose if you are using c you will have to use a function either malloc or caloc both these library functions are present in the header file alloc.h. As far as C++ is concerned, there is an operator called new operator which is, which is used for dynamic memory location. There is a term called garbage collection. Garbage collection. Now, what is garbage collection? Garbage collection is the process through which we deallocate the memory which was allocated dynamically. This is called garbage collection. See, as far as C is concerned, in C there is a library function called free. This is used for deallocation of the dynamically allocated space. In C++, we people use an operator called delete operator. There is an operator called delete operator which is responsible for garbage collection that is deallocation of the dynamically allocated space. Now see, we are going to discuss static memory location and dynamic memory location versus dynamic memory location. Now see, as far as static memory location is concerned, that is best achieved, that is best suited when the total number of elements or the total number of members that you have already decided, that this, the, 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 the n number of uh, elements are going to be there at the time of writing your program. But as far as dynamic memory location is concerned, this comes in handy when you are unaware about the number of elements that the user is going to use at the time of the execution of the program. So, dynamic memory location is best to suited when the programmer is not sure about the total number of elements which are going to be used by the user. So, dynamic memory location is used, is best suited when the number of elements for an array or for, 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 for number of objects in C++ that is to be supplied by the user at the time of execution of the program. Now see, I'm, first I am going to tell you, first, a very big advantage of dynamic memorization is you can always grow the number of elements, you can always increase the number of elements for an array or for that matter like link, nodes of a linked list, nodes of a tree at the execution of the program. When the program is getting executed, the user can go on adding any number of nodes, any number of nodes for a linked list, for a tree, etc. This is not possible had the memory allocation been taken place at the time of the compilation of the program. So, uh, as far as dynamic memory allocation is concerned, it is best to for growable memory requirement. Growable memory requirement. Secondly, Second thing is, if you have gone in for dynamic memory location, it can be removed from the memory at any point of time when that is not needed. 
as I have told you, for garbage collection, we people use pre function in C and delete function in C. So, dynamically allocated memory can be removed from the memory where that is no more needed by your program, thus saving a lot of memory space. This is something which is not possible in case of static memory location. So, second thing is B in C or C. Always remember. Dynamic memory location always takes place through pointers. That is always through pointers. So see, for, for example, suppose I want to declare, I want to have a memory which is going to store the marks of uh, marks of a student for n number of tests. I would be asking the user enter the number of tests taken by this student taken by this student then using scanf you will be getting the value of n from the user and we want to allocate the space for our array using mks we would be, we would be, we would be using typecasting malloc size of float multiplied by n this is the syntax of using malloc. What we have done is, we have declared a pointer variable which is going to be the array name. As we know an array name is pointed to base address. So what we will be doing is, instead of declaring the array using static memory location that is using conventional method, we will be simply declaring a pointer variable which is going to be used as an array name. MKS is going to float star. This is the this is the syntax syntax of using malloc first writing float star that indicates that the pointer variable of the left side of the assignment operator that is going to be a pointer to float and within malloc we are supposed to supply the total number of bytes to be allocated dynamically so malloc size of float this size of operator is going to return as for this example is going to return 4 bytes 4 4 into number of elements so chunk of memory area that will be reserved in the memory for n number of float values right suppose it happens to be 101 105 109 so on so base address happens to be 101 this base address would be stored into the pointer variable mks now the same thing can be performed in c++ by using the new operator what i will be doing is again float star mks INTN, I would be asking from the user enter the number of tests taken by the student CNN, then MKS is equal to the syntax of C for dynamic memorization is rather simple. New name of the data type, in this case it happens to be float, and within square brackets we are supposed to give the size. MKS is not a new float, here within scale packets we will be writing n, that is total number of elements. So again guys, I will be explaining what are the advantages of dynamic memory location over static memory location. See, if you have gone in for dynamic memory location, during the execution of the program, you can always grow the size of your required memory. Suppose, like you know about lengthless nodes of lengthless nodes of trees, wherever you require more number of nodes, extra number of nodes. You can go for malloc, or if you are working in C++, you will go for new operator, and you will be you will be allocating the space for new nodes. But that is not possible if you will be going through static. You can you yourself can imagine how you can write the linkless programs and tree programs without using dynamic memory location because they are ever expandable. When the need arises, we are going to allocate the space for new nodes in a tree or a linkless. Whenever the need is not required, suppose whenever we want to delete a node, we people use free function. If we are working in C, we use delete operator. If we are working in C++, to deallocate the space for that deleted node. This is the benefit of using dynamic memory allocation. Dynamic memory allocation. And moreover, I will again repeat my point. What another advantage is, whenever you are writing a suppose you are writing a big program, at any given point of time, you see this particular uh, a particular array or group of objects, they are going to be no more needed. You just want to displace them from the memory so that your space is not wasted. So you can use, uh, you can use free.
free function or delete operator in C++ that is going to deallocate the space from the memory and uh, because suppose if that facility was not there and you have gone in for that static memory location what will happen is that particular space even though that is not needed in your program in, in rest of the program that is going to be wasted. So this is all about guys, this is all about dynamic memory location versus static memory location C and C++. So in the next lecture we will be discussing some, some, some more topics about uh, pointers. Thanks.